。Hey guys， 大家好，欢迎来到我的频道，我们的频道。<笑>今天我会回答所有你们对计算的疑问。前一阵子 ，Sebastian 在他的 Instagram 的即时动态里有询问了大家对于肌酸有的疑问。那么我们一共收到了一百七十四个回复，我们将这一百七十四个问题浓缩了成三十个疑问，删去了一些重复以及雷同的问题。There was a lot of work put into this video, so if you guys appreciate what we do here. Please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel as well. And before we start, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who have been using our My Protein links provided in the description of the videos. That really helps us personally and the channel to keep providing you guys with good quality content. Now, let's continue with this video. 第一个问题，肌酸是什么？它是怎么制造的？ Creatine is a substance that is found naturally in humans and in animals, mainly stored in the muscles. In humans, creatine is produced by the liver, kidneys, and a little bit in the pancreas. Our bodies produce about one gram of creatine a day. Creatine can also be acquired through diet by eating meat, poultry, and fish, and of course, in supplement form. So, if your parents are getting paranoid about this white-looking powder that looks like a drug, tell them that it's nothing illegal. It's a natural nutrient, and they might consider taking it as well. 第二个问题，服用肌酸有什么好处 ？The most well-known benefits of creatine are increasing muscle mass, strength, enhanced performance, improved recovery, help with injury prevention, and even with memory. 第三个问题，我们需要摄取多少肌酸？究竟什么样的剂量是最有效的 ？Okay, so if you have never taken creatine before, you may consider going through a loading phase, which consists of taking five grams four times a day, so about 20 grams a day for seven days straight. After the seven-day period, you can just continue taking three to five grams once a day to maintain the high levels of concentration of creatine in the muscles. Now, if you don't wish to go through the loading phase because actually it's not compulsory, you can skip it and consume five grams every single day. However, if you decide to go with this last protocol, it'll take you longer to experience any creatine benefits. Because to get any creatine benefits, according to PhD Bill Campbell, we first need to saturate the muscles with creatine. Therefore, not loading on creatine first, the saturation process will take a little longer. So it's really up to you whether you want to take the short or longer way. 第四个问题。肌酸的使用时机是什么时候？应该在训练前还是训练后使用 ？There is some evidence suggesting that taking creatine right after your workout may be slightly more effective. However, I will say that staying consistent with its consumption is far more important than the timing. So take it at any time of the day. That is easier for you to remember. So this way, you can make it into a habit and thus experience any potential benefits of creatine. 第五个问题，如果中断肌酸的使用，是否对整体的训练会有所影响 ？Possibly, it may depend on how long you stop it for. Though it's not necessary to take breaks or cycle it. You can keep taking it continuously for as long as you want. 第六个问题，什么人适合使用肌酸？男性、女性、青少年以及年长者使用上有所差异吗 ？Creatine can be used by adults, men, women, the elderly, no problem. Now, when it comes to teenagers, the International Society of Sport Nutrition recommends that for this population to take creatine, they need a be involved in serious competitive supervised training, b are consuming a well-balanced and performance-enhancing diet, c. Are knowledgeable about appropriate use of creatine, and D, do not exceed recommended dosages. 第七个问题，服用肌酸却在力量上没有感觉到进步，是否该停止使用，还是提升剂量？ There is evidence suggesting that not everyone will benefit from taking creatine. There is a group of people who are non-responders even when taking the suggested dosages of creatine. According to Dr. Jose Antonio, people who have more muscle fibers type 2 tend to respond better than the ones that possess more type 1 muscle fibers. At the same time, you guys have to understand that even if creatine works on you, you will not get superpowers.
some cases you may be experiencing the benefits and not even realizing of them because they are somewhat subtle. 第八个问题，肌酸是否适合长跑耐力型运动？ Creatine is energy that works best in anaerobic, high-intensity activities that go for short bouts, such as lifting weights or sprinting. In this meta-analysis, was found that for aerobic activities that go for longer than 150 seconds, creatine isn't that effective anymore. Nevertheless, it has been shown in some studies that creatine can help with muscle hydration, thus helping athletes tolerate exercise in the heat better. Therefore, if you like to go running or cycling in the hot, humid summer, perhaps creatine is a supplement that you may consider. 第九个问题，是否能使用市售的能量饮料来取代肌酸 ？Only if the energy drink has creatine in it. But I never seen a pre-made drink that has creatine. As explained here, creatine is better conserved in solid form, not liquid, which is why you will find it being sold in powder form and capsules. 第十个问题：肌酸是必要的补充品吗？还是从食物中就可以摄取充足 ？Great question. So even though we ourselves create creatine naturally and acquire some through the diet, it's still not enough creatine to experience benefits. In this video, PhD Eric Helms explains that we will need at least one kilo of raw red meat to get the recommended five grams a day. So this is why it makes a lot of sense to supplement with it because it's easier, more convenient, and a lot cheaper. 第十一个问题，健美备赛期间使用肌酸有哪些该注意的事项 ？Drinking enough water is the only thing I suggest you do, as you may get stomach cramps, especially if going through the loading phase. Apart from that, creatine is one of the safest supplements out there, according to the International Society of Sports Nutrition. 第十二个问题，我有听说服用肌酸会让你的体重上升，是真的这样吗 ？Yes, creatine will cause you to gain weight, but wait, 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 wait! Don't get scared. According to Dr. Jose Antonio, who is the director of the International Society of Sport Nutrition, the weight gain is not fat mass; it's increases in lean body mass, which is a great thing. 第十三个问题。肌酸会让你的身体储存水分吗 ？So in line with the previous question, yes, creatine will make us retain water, but mainly inside the muscles, making them look fuller and bigger. Which most likely for you and I is something positive. I know many guys and girls will stop taking creatine a few weeks before stepping on a stage for a show because of the wrong assumption that creatine will make him retain water under the skin. But hey, that is not the case. 第十四个问题，肌酸会导致你掉发吗？ To give an answer to this question, I'm going to refer to an article from Examine.com, which is a trustworthy website managed by staff of highly educated professionals in areas of health, sport nutrition, and well-being. In this article, they talk about whether creatine can cause hair loss. They write that one study in 2009 found that creatine increased DHT. DHT is a derivative of testosterone, which is well known for inducing hair loss in men. However, they also mentioned that this has been the only study to get these findings, and that to this day, no studies have directly examined creatine's effect on hair loss. So it's unsure whether creatine can induce this condition. Nevertheless, if you currently suffer from hair loss or you believe to have a genetic predisposition to it, I suggest you speak to a specialist before start taking creatine. 第十五个问题，有些人在服用肌酸一阵子后会休息一周，请问这是必要的吗 ？As I mentioned in one of the previous questions, creatine is not a drug. It's not an illegal compound. It's a natural nutrient, so there's no need to cycle on and off it. Just keep taking it on a regular basis. 第十六个问题，长期的使用肌酸会不会导致健康的肾脏受损？ According to the International Society of Sports Nutrition, creatine will not cause damage to the kidneys. Moreover, they state that there is no compelling evidence that creatine supplementation negatively affects renal function in healthy or clinical populations. 第十七个问题，肌酸与 BCA 有何差异？ 
There are a lot of differences between the two of them. BCAA are essential amino acids, while creatine is an amino acid derived substance. According to this academic paper, for creatine synthesis, our body needs the amino acids glycine, arginine, and methionine, and three enzymes that I'm not going to bother try pronouncing because it's way too hard. Now, when it comes to supplements, more or less BCAAs are used for the same purposes of creatine, such as increasing lean body mass, strength, and enhanced recovery. One big difference, though, is that creatine has been widely researched and studied with proven benefits, while BCA haven't. So if you have to choose between BCAs and creatine, without a doubt, I will go for creatine. Yes, that's true. There are many types, such as creatine monohydrate, creatine effluester, and creatine HCL. But creatine monohydrate is the one that has been researched the most which is why it will be the one that I would recommend. Now, it also turns out that creatine monohydrate is a lot cheaper than these other forms. So for us as consumers, it's great news. The one you are seeing on the screen right now is the one I take on a daily basis. It's the My Protein Creatine Monohydrate. My favorite flavors are the Tropical and the Blueberry Raspberry. The links for those products, you can find them in the description of the video. I would much appreciate it guys if you use my links when purchasing any products with my protein. It's truly great help for us personally and for our channel so we can keep providing you guys with great content. According to Dr. Eric Helms, creatine can cause bloating and cramps when taken in large dosages but also combined with not drinking enough water. So this can be a common issue if you are going through the loading phase, for example, where 20 grams of creatine are needed per day. So to avoid cramping and bloating, the obvious thing to do would be to drink more water or avoiding the loading phase. According to examine.com, the studies that have looked for this link have shown no increases of testosterone after creatine supplementation. Being super honest with you guys, there are no legal supplements that will do this for you. So if lower levels of testosterone is what concerns you, please visit a doctor. Yes, the brand doesn't really matter as long as you are consuming creatine monohydrate. Just make sure that you're buying it from a reliable brand. Newbies can also take creatine, but I don't think it's really necessary. As a beginner, you must focus on the big picture, not in the details. Taking supplements is such a small part in your fitness journey. Instead, pay attention to your training and eating a good healthy diet that is high in protein. And also, don't forget about sleeping well. Those things, when done consistently, is what is going to produce the changes you are looking for. My protein has many Yes, that is also true. My protein is such an innovative company that is always coming up with new products. And that is something that I really like about it. However, in this case, like I said before, creating monohydrate is all you need because it's the one that has been proven to work. Again, in the description of the video, you will find the link for that product. Guys, you have to try your best to always stay creatine. Be as consistent as you possibly can. Of course, one day of not taking it is not going to produce any negative effects because it actually takes a few days for creatine levels to come down. But again, try to make its consumption a habit. Try to schedule it on your phone so you never forget. To experience the benefits of creatine is a continuous process. You must be taking it on a regular basis. If you are already drinking protein powder, that's fine. You can still supplement with creatine. The 
Older populations can also benefit from taking creatine. Sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle mass as we age, is a common condition in the elderly. So you young guys out there, consider getting some creatine for your parents or grandparents, also some protein powder, and most importantly, get them started on some sort of resistance training program so they can live happier, healthier, and longer. 第二十七个问题，我是否可以将肌酸加入其他的补充品一起饮用 ？Yes, you can mix it with other supplements or drinking it by itself if that's what you like. I personally do not like to mix it with whey protein because I really enjoy drinking my shakes, and when I add creatine, it kind of ruins the texture for me. But if that doesn't bother you, then I see no problem. It will definitely not create a chemical reaction or anything like that. 第二十八个问题：男女性的建议服用剂量有差异吗 ？No difference between genders. Same dosages for men and women. 第二十九个问题：肌酸对蛋奶素食者以及全素食者有所帮助吗 ？Yes, it's perfectly fine for vegetarians and vegans to consume creatine. Moreover, vegetarians and vegans have been shown to have very little levels of creatine concentration. As they consume very little or not animal products at all, it actually makes a lot of sense for this group of people to get some creatine supplementation. They are very likely to experience some of the benefits of it, even more so than people that regularly eat meat. 第三十个问题，肌酸是一定必须要服用的补充品吗 ？No, creatine, like any other supplement, is not compulsory. Not taking creatine doesn't mean you're not going to improve your muscle mass, your strength, or improve performance. Now, considering how well researched this supplement is and how cheap and convenient, then you may want to give it a go. But remember that supplements are details. You must first focus on the bigger picture, which is improving your diet, training hard and consistently, and getting enough rest. And this is the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you appreciate the work done here, please give us your thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really took us a lot of work to put this video together for more simple than it looks. So if you appreciate what we do in this channel, please don't forget to support us by looking through the links below provided in the description of the video. Use my links and my promo code when buying any products from my protein and also my training programs. They really work. A lot of people have given me very good feedback, and I'm happy with them. So you may consider checking those out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye. Yeah.